Hello, my name is Shane from Hustle Kids Holland, right here in Warsaw Challenge, and we're here at Break Advice. Now recognize. First of all, I, I work with a lot of concepts and one of my concepts is I work with levels. And of course I do a lot of freezes, so I'm gonna show you like a couple of ways to the, do, do the transitions in your freezes like very easy or to make it a lot more easier than, than it actually is. So first of all, I'm gonna start very easy with the baby freeze and then we're just trying to make like a very easy way to get up and it's just one step in between. I'm gonna show you, it's very easy. So we do baby freeze, you go one, and then you can go up three. So you have like a very easy way to go up instead of when you go from a baby freeze to up because it's still, hard to push yourself up, of course. So we have this little step in between. You have to push yourself up from freeze, that's, that's one thing. But you push yourself up to like, just, your, just one feet. So you go one, you go two, and from here you can just jump three. So it's like one way to get up. So I work with a lot of forms in my, in my legs when I do my freezes. You see, a lot of times it's like both hands on the ground but my feet go all the way around. So it still gets like a crazy effect. So I'm gonna show you is, I got one, two, three, and from here you can go two, four, boom, boom, duck, and it can go on from whatever you want. You can go up, you can go back down again. You can switch it up. Um, what I always do is just try to get easy ways to go up. Another example is very easy, like things like doing a kick up to handstand is very hard. Like you go from here, boom. Not everyone can do this like very easy. So I always have these little steps in between. Like when you come here, boom, boom, thick. Always I have like just one step to be more comfortable in, my, in, in, in the way going up. Because I know I'm not going to fall. I can catch myself anytime. And I just jump myself in the air with my feet. So it's not just me pushing myself up with my arms. So when you go up, it's just one way. Um, this you can do it anyway. So when you go up, going back down or switching in freezes, you just take one step. Like we take just the first step. Got boom, take, going up, boom, take, boom. So you always have just one step and most of the times I do it like in a crazy freeze like this or it's in a bridge and I always have like still I have some forms in the steps I do going up so it's not like I just do like one step and try to push it's really like one two three it's also like one move I try always to move swift like really move light foot like really light so what i always do is i make this step in between from going up i always make it as a bounce it will not it will not be like a hot step on the floor like you're doing a crazy footwork step it was always have to be like a bounce that you just touch the floor and that's it it's just touching the floor and and, and it's not like stepping so it's never gonna be like boom and it always have to be like always lightweight and when you do this your freezes get also lightweight and it seems that it's easy even if it's not <laughs> the way I go to this step is always I turn my hips around so when I go for my baby freeze I push myself and I always I always turn my hips and from here this I turn my hips around again like and I'm on the other side again. So what I'm doing is from baby freeze, I move my hips from here all the way to here and all the way back. So what you see is like my hips go from here to here and back, but down, middle, up. 
The way I use the, the hip technique and the way I touch the flow is all for the effect of moving swift in your freezes and to make it clean. So this is break advice, Shane talking about some freezes. I hope you learn something from it and make your freeze more swift and more clean. And see you next time. Peace. Now recognize. Now recognize. Now recognize. Break advice.